Hello. For our first meditation this Advent, I want to take you right back to the very beginning of the Bible, to a moment soon after Adam and Eve arrived in the Garden of Eden. It was a garden that would make Alan Titchmarsh and every other gardening guru green with envy. And for Adam and Eve, everything in the garden was rosy, in the best possible way. But something happened. A snake, which we soon realise is a picture of the devil, arrived and tempted the couple to eat the very fruit that God had forbidden them to sample. Suddenly, the freedom, the joy and the peace they lived in evaporated. And the time came for God to make his daily visit and talk with Adam and Eve, but search as he might, they were nowhere to be found. Their consciences had been screaming such a loud warning that their loving God, instead of being their confidant, became a threat. And when they finally met, God knew perfectly well what had happened. But Adam and Eve played the blame game. Adam blamed Eve, Eve blamed the snake, and the snake didn't have a leg to stand on. I wish I could have seen God's face in that moment. Before he ever spilt out the consequences, of the choice Adam and Eve had made, he spat out this warning to the snake. You will strike mankind's heel, he said, but he will crush your head. Now a strike on the heel is unlikely to be deadly, but a crushing blow to the head is. And by saying that, God is revealing his plan to reverse the tragedy of what had just taken place. His plan is to see that the devil, the one behind the snake, will be on the receiving end of a crushing death blow. There will come a day when the power of sin will be defeated. And that defeat will come through one of Eve's distant offspring, a human being. Now we're anticipating the arrival of the one who will see Satan and even death itself defeated. When one of Adam and Eve's human descendants turns out to be none other than God incarnate. Hebrews talks about this and says, Jesus Christ shared our humanity so that by his death he might break the power of him who holds death, that is the devil, and free those who are held in slavery by their fear of death. Now that is something we can get ready to celebrate. Hello again. If you're watching this on YouTube, you might like to subscribe. There's a little button below this frame and then you'll get a, an alert to tell you when the next one comes out. You could also like it or you could leave a comment and join in the conversation. It would be great to hear from you.